Hello, my name is Josiah Ray, and I'm going to show you how to make furry text using Adobe After Effects. So we come into Adobe After Effects, and we're just going to create a new composition real quick um, using an HD setting for 1080p, and we're going to call this fur. Inside of this, we create a new layer. I'm going to make it a new black solid. And this is going to be the fur texture that we use. So let's go to Effect, Generate, or Effect, Noise and Grain, Fractal Noise. And we're going to select underneath the fractal type a dynamic twist. And so that's, that's looking OK for, for our fur. Let's just bring the contrast up a bit so that it's a little, a little more clearly defined. And we're also going to go to Effect, Color Correction, Curves, and bring the red midtones up a bit and the blue midtones down a little to give it kind of a goldish look. And that's not too bad. So the next thing we need to do is create our text. So click the uh, horizontal type tool here at the top. And we're just going to type fur. And so I'm going to scale this up. I'm holding down the shift key while I do. Make this nice and big. And we're going to make sure that that fur layer is on top of the black solid. And underneath the black solid track mat, we're going to select alpha fur. And so that kind of makes the fur have the texture on it. But we need to alter the sides so the sides look a little furry too. So make sure that your fur text layer is selected. Go to Effect, Distort. And we're going to go down to Turbulent Displace. And we'll zoom in a little bit so we can see this a little better. Obviously, that doesn't look anything like what we want. But if we bring the size down, we can see it becomes a lot more complex around the edges. And so we want something like that for a basic, basic size. We're going to increase the complexity on this so that it gets a little bit, a little more broken up, a little bit fuzzier. And we'll increase the amount as well. And we can play around with this just a little bit so that, so that it starts to look a little bit more like fur. And I'm also going to increase the contrast on the, on the layer behind it just a little bit so that it starts, to, it starts to pop out a little bit more like fur. And you can, you can obviously adjust all the colors and everything to your heart's content. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this tutorial on how to create furry text using Adobe After Effects. I'm Josiah Ray.